Welcome everybody. Today I wanted to show you guys a how-to video on how to tie your own spawn sacks for salmon, steelhead, trout. They work for everything. We got our eggs here. I harvested these from a um, really nice coho I caught earlier in the year. Basically what I did is I cured them, froze them. I didn't know when I was going to get out. I have now thawed them and they are basically ready to go. So we're going to go ahead. I like to use plastic spoons um, to get my eggs out. I've seen guys use metal spoons. I've seen some guys say you can't use metal spoons, but uh, really it's all up to whatever you feel you want to do. Um, in fact, we're not wearing gloves today. Some people like to wear gloves when they handle any kind of eggs to keep their scent off the eggs. And I'm not saying that, that they're wrong. I just never have, and I've never had a problem with that. When I'm tying these, it really depends on what kind of egg I'm using. But since we're using coho eggs, which are like a medium size, you probably want about five or six for steelhead. Um, you can make more if the water's fast, if the water is big, if you're on a big river, maybe you want more eggs. I have had the best success with five to six eggs. And so that's what I kind of stick with. And it's always, you know, done well for me. We got our netting and uh, maybe I should go over that real quick, by the way. So our netting is just Atlas Mike's spawn netting. You can get it in two different ways. You can get them in pre-cut squares like this, or you can get it in a roll like that. I have a little bit of everything. So I, I, it doesn't really matter. I just like the squares because it's cleaner. It's easier. Uh, there's not as much hassle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bag, our spawn netting, and we're going to fold it. So you can see we got our eggs in there. We're gonna take all of our edges and we're gonna pinch them together. So now we have that. We have our eggs in our net. And then I'll kind of pull them all together here and give that netting just a decent twist. You don't need to twist it too much. You twist it too much, you put too much tension on it and you might break your eggs if they're too soft. So I just give it a small little twist there and that's what we got. So now that we have that all set, we're gonna grab some thread to tie these. I use this thread right here. It's called Magic Thread. It's also by Atlas Mike. I think I'm basically using all Atlas Mike stuff today. And it's a spongy thread that basically breaks off when you pull it tight enough. And it's, it retains its tension. So you're not going to have to worry about tying a knot or anything around this to keep it on. I mean, it just holds itself together. So you go get and get that magic thread. And I like to wrap it around. So you grab it. You wrap it around your bag. I like to wrap it three times. One, two, three. All right. And I'm keeping mild tension when I do that. Not too tight. On that third one, I pull nice and hard. And you'll see your bag kind of cinch together. Now you'll still have a piece of thread leading to your spool here. I just pull that the other way. One, two, three. And then I go ahead and just pop that right off. And now you have a perfectly tied spawn bag. All you have to do at this point is you just got to clip off that little end material there. I always keep a little scissors on me. Just go ahead and pop that off. You might have a little bit of a hanging piece here. I just go ahead and I clip that off too. And uh, that is our spawn bag right there. Let me go ahead and tie another one for you guys so you can see what we're doing. Just in case you missed something. Okay, we got our netting here. All right, we're gonna go to our plate. Let's grab a few more here. So now we got our eggs nice and bunched up in the middle. We're gonna fold it over. And now we got it bunched up. We're gonna take all of our ends. We're gonna pinch them together, making sure we're not leaving any ends and leaving any holes with eggs to slip out. And we got them all bunched up. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it a twist. I hold it tight to the, to the bunch of eggs. Let's give it a gentle twist. You don't need to go too hard. You don't want to pop your eggs there. So you got those nice and bagged up. 
I like to not waste anything, so we're going to use a piece of magic thread here that we had clipped. This is that nice orange thread here. We're just going to go ahead and rind it around. One, two, three. Pull that off. I guess like I got a little tangled. Let's we'll clip it. All right. And we got a nice looking bag right there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, clip off that extra material there. Any wispies we have, residual, we're going to clip that off as well. And there we go, guys. That's a beautiful bag. And we're going to hope to catch some steelhead on that. I like to store mine in these little uh, pill bottle containers. Uh, some guys use baby food jars too. Anything that I can fit into my fishing vest. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's really easy to tie your own spawn bags. It's a really rewarding process when you catch your own fish on eggs that you prepared and on eggs that you tied into spawn bags. And hopefully this video helped you guys. If you like this video, please uh, like, subscribe, comment with any questions you have. I might be able to answer them. And if I don't know the answer, I can point you in the direction of somebody that does. So I hope you guys go out there and slay some fish with some of your own spawn sacks.